Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to download files from folder or directory in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's start. Let's open the Solution Explorer. Here you will notice that there is a folder named files. It contains all the files which will be downloaded or displayed on the page. Now I'm adding a model class to our project. I'll give it a suitable name. Here I'm naming it as file model. Here I'll be adding one single property called file name, which will be a string property. Now let's move to the index model class. Here we'll start by adding the namespaces. So the first namespace is system.io. It will be required for saving the file and for file and directory operations. The next namespace is microsoft.espnetcore.hosting. This particular namespace is required for the iPhone file interface. Now I'm creating a public property of file model collection and this particular property will be used in the razor page for populating the HTML table. Now here I'm creating a private property for iHosting environment interface, which I'll be using throughout Dex model class. Now I'm creating a constructor of index model class and I'm passing the iHosting environment object to it. Inside the constructor, I'll be setting the private property with the object of the iHosting environment which is passed as a parameter. This process is known as dependency injection and it is used in all the ASP.NET Core projects where we need to access the www root folder. For more information about the iHosting environment, please refer to the article link given in the description. And inside this onget handler method, the very first line I am creating a variable where I'll be fetching the path of the www root folder from the iHosting environment interface. The property which holds the path is called as web root path. Now I am writing a for each loop and already I have created a generic list collection of file model class object. This particular for each loop will be executed over the file path array. And inside this for each loop, the file path will be converted to file name and it will be set in the file name property of the file model class object. And then the file model class object will be added to the generic list collection of the file model class. The purpose of doing this is because we will not require the complete path of the file when we are displaying it. Also for download purpose, we only require the name of the file because the path of the file that is the location of the folder we already know. Now let's move to the razor page. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Now inside the view, I am inheriting the tag helper classes.
and later on I'll be declaring index model class namespace. And the third one, the namespace of the file model class. So now I'll be creating an HTML table. This particular table will be used to display the file names and also it will provide a download link to download the particular file. So as you can see, the very first header element inside the table is file name. So this particular column will display the name of the file while the other blank column will be displaying the download links. In order to create the HTML table rows, I am making use of a for each loop and this particular loop will be executed over the generic list collection of the file model class. Now inside the for each loop, I am creating an HTML table row with two table cells. The first table cell will display the name of the file. The second table cell consists of the download link. In order to create the download link, I am making use of HTML anchor element. As you can see in the href attribute, I am making use of the url.page function as this particular function is used to call the handler methods. The first parameter is the name of the model class. The second parameter is the name of the handler function. While in the third parameter, we can pass the parameters. In our case, there is only one parameter which is file name. Finally, I am setting the inner HTML, which is the text of the HTML anchor link element. With this, we are done with the view part. Now let's move to the index model class where we'll write the code for the download file. Here the return type is file result because we are returning a file. And the name of the file sent from the view is received as a parameter. Inside the handler method, I am creating a variable path. This particular variable will store the absolute path of the file. Here I am making use of www root folder from the iHosting environment interface. And then I am concatenating it to the file name. This gives me the complete file path. Now I am creating a variable of type byte array. Byte array because I will be reading the file data. In order to read the file, I am making use of read all bytes method of the file class. And to that method, I am passing the complete absolute path of the file. Finally, I am sending the file for download using the file function, which accepts the following three parameters. The first one is file data in byte array format. The second one is the MIME type or content type. I am making use of octet string. And the third one is the name of the file. So with this, we complete our programming part and we are ready to run our project and see it in action. So as you can see, the names of the file are being displayed and also the download link is visible. And when I'm clicking on the download link, the file is being downloaded. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to display list of files from a folder. Also, we learned how to download a particular file from a folder in ASP.NET Core. Razor pages. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.